Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainers.com. In this session, we'll discuss about 2D barcode functions. And there are two types. One is QR code as other one is PDF 417. So let's get into the slide. So the first one is the QR code and which is one of the 2D barcode functionality in Oracle Fusion BI. So the syntax for this one is like, a, we have, you know, like the tag starts with the QR code followed by the data element, nothing but the XML tag then followed by the size of the size of the QR code you want to get it displayed in the report. And the remaining, there are some optional set of things which are there, like if required, you know, like based on the requirement, you can just explore them to display the data. So in a basic understanding or a basic functionality for us to display QR code is you just need to mention the QR code tag followed by the XML element tag and followed by the size you have to mention, okay? And the other one is the PDF 417, it is almost same here. You just have the PDF 417 XML tag followed by data. And, and you can mention the character set and you can mention the, you know, the, the points, like uh, how many points you want to display, like uh, uh, the similar to width kind of logic, right? You have to mention X scale points. You have to mention the points fashion here, okay? So if you just observe the sample here, so we have a PO details, like uh, our report is based on the purchase order data. And this particular one gets the PO number, line number, schedule number, distribution number. And we have a last column here, which displays, which, which we have concatenated. And assume that we want to display the BR, like uh, the QR code or a PDF 417 for this particular last column. So we can just need to mention them appropriately here. If you observe, right, the output, we are just trying to, we try to like uh, achieve this logic, like uh, for, we try to display a QR number for the P1 number as well as, you know, like uh, the other one, the barcode for the other part, a PDF 417 for other column. Okay, let us achieve that. So now let's get into the BIP. So let, this is a query. So I'm trying to fetch all the B, the purchase order details. And I mentioned the hard-coded row name less than one. So that will not be flooded. Our will not be flooding our report with the total data. So I'll just go to custom. So if you can or our trainings, if you don't have any specific custom folder, you can create it or you can just use the appropriate one based on your requirements. So I'll just create a new data model here. So I'll just save the report first. PO details, QR code, or I can say 2D barcode DM. Mention the query. So I'll just say G underscore PO details. Save it. I'll try to fetch 10 rows. Okay. Click on save a sample data. Of course, it is not required. Yeah. You can just click on export so that it will fetch the XML file for us. So copy this XML file to the respective folder, the place where you want to design your template and the remaining source code, you have it. So I'll just open the MS Word now. I'll save the template first. TMPL and RTF template. Click on BA Publisher, load the XML data, PO details, 2D barcode. Click on table using a wizard. Now, let us say we'll try to fetch only a few columns, PO number, line number, schedule number, distribution number, and the last other column, okay? And remaining okay, as of now, we'll just ignore. Click on next and finish. So now, before changing anything, just let us see the PDF output and see how it is working. So this is how it is working. Now what we want to do is let us say, we'll try to achieve the QR code functionality first. Let us try to achieve the QR code functionality. So as per the syntax, what, what does we have? To display the QR code, so let us see the syntax here. You just need to use this one, right? This is a syntax. And what is the column name for the PO number? 
So I can just show you one of my existing ones. You can easily understand. Field browser. Okay, so this is how we can use a QR code for the P1 number. And let me show you the other one also. 417 logic. The same thing, only thing is you just need to mention the different tag for the P PDF 417. Okay, so now what we do is, so here, let us expand the layout first of all. I'll make it as this one. Yeah. So after distribution number, let's say I'll create insert column to the right. I'll just create two columns. One is for the QR code, other one is a PDF 417. 417. And now you just need to require a field, right? So just copy any of the field here and click on this one. Change the properties. Let's say PO number QR code. And similarly, copy this, paste here. Sorry, data field can be anything. We'll change it again. P1 number, PDF, 417. We just created two fields, but we have to change the value, right? Click on this particular one and click on field browser and change the value here. So this is the value we want to display. QR code followed by P1 number and 50. So update here, close it. And now similarly, for the other one also, copy the PDF 417. PDF 417, click on field browser and close it. Okay. Now what we can do, next thing is let us test it, right? Click on PDF and test it. So it is not working fine. So whenever you have a QR code and barcode or the PDF stuff, it will not work properly. So you have to test it via using a template viewer. So that there is a software called template viewer that will come by default when you install a BI publisher. So that will be available in the program files, Oracle BI publisher, BI publisher desktop, template viewer. There's a file called tmplviewer.jar. Open that and it will open like this. And here in the working directory, select the location, select the folder where you have data model as a template. Make sure that you have the data model as well as template in the same location. Now left side will select data model and right side will select template and select the appropriate output format and select the appropriate you know template type. So by default, you can select it all and here you can select PDF and click on start processing. Right, that's it. So this is how it looks like. Okay, so PDF 417, it is not displaying point, right? So let us see what is the missing here. Four one seven. Let us see if I we have we have mentioned the value properly. Yeah. So sorry, we have not copied the syntax properly here. PDF four one seven. Yeah. Close it. No. Now you have to update until unless you click on update, it will not work. So that's where the issue was. Update. Click on update, and then close it. Now let us try. Go to the template viewer. Click on start processing again. Perfect. So we could see the QR code as well as PDF 417 respectively. You can increase the width and you can change some set of formattings which you have it based on your requirement. You can do it. So as of now, it may not be like a fully a production kind of layout, right? So of course, like based on the requirement, you have to modify. The basic functionality you have to understand is how do you display the QR code in Oracle BIP? Okay. So we have two things. One is the QR code. Other one is PDF 417 code. So here in this one, these are the Oracle BIP by default provided fonts you don't require any external fonts to be installed and there is no configuration required at all simply within the oracle bib can just perform this particular functionality and you can also register from the oracle bib so as of now we just ran the report from our particular local system right let us see from the fusion instance also i'll just create the report now and let us upload the template and see how it works click on use report editor click on finish PO details to the barcode repo. Click on save. Upload the template.
TMP and RTF. Output English. Click on view report. Okay. So here if you observe, right, it is not fitting properly as it is an HTML output. Just try the PDF or better download it. If it is not showing properly, right, you just increase the width appropriately. If you observe the PDF, it is working fine. So the width seems it was fitting properly. If you require to change, just change it accordingly. Okay. So this is all about Oracle VIP QR functionality as well as PDF 417 functionality. Thank you.